Hey guys, what's going on? It's Johnny Wu again. A Korean YouTuber called Jidler is harassing Philippine people, mocking them from his video. Right now, if you go on Twitter and search hashtag cancel Korea, there are thousands of comments that you can check. So the starting point of this incident is from a person called Bella Porch from TikTok. She's a Filipino American from Hawaii. Damn, I only have 250. Anyways, the problem started with her tattoo. This tattoo is called the rising sun flag and her tattoo is very similar to this one and most people will think that what the hell is wrong with that the rising sun flag as known as ugilgi is a military flag made from japan and this imperial flag is a symbol of militarism and oppression in parts of asia meaning that many people suffered and died during japanese colonization and especially 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 korea is it that serious what comes up in your mind if you see this Massacre or death? Something very negative, right? And Korean people treat this flag same as this flag. So it's something that Korean peoples are very sensitive about. But most people from other countries don't really know. And because Bella is Filipino-American, some Korean people are now commenting Bella saying, isn't that rising sun flag? Or are you supporting the flag? And so on. So Bella posted an apology from TikTok saying, I am very sorry if my tattoos offend you. I love Korea, please forgive me. But the criticism kept on going. And eventually she put up an official apology post. I apologize to Koreans because six months ago, Ago, I got a tattoo of the red sun with 16 rays. At the time, I did not know the history. I am ashamed of myself for not doing my research. I sincerely apologize. So she did not know the meaning of the tattoo. And now she's being seriously getting her tattoos removed. But despite Bella's sincere apology, some Koreans just don't know when to stop and kept on posting things like this. Wow. These guys just don't want to communicate, they just want to bring up the fight. These people are mocking and depreciating the country of Philippines. I mean, I know there are always uneducated people in the world, but I think there's a little more in Korea. And of course, Filipino must be very angry too. So they were adverting BTS and mentioning some Korean streamers. And since this was getting bigger and serious, a lot of Korean people are apologizing to Filipino from YouTube or social media. And partly, many Filipino Filipinos are accepting their apology by saying cancel Korea. And when this incident was about to end, this stupid Korean YouTuber called Jitler lit up the fire again. I just want to emphasize that this guy has some serious problems. All of his videos are about mocking sexuality, other countries, or the ones who passed away. This guy was mocking Sully from FX when she committed a suicide by saying he was Sully's ex-boyfriend. Really, this guy has some mental issues, I'm telling you. And I'm pretty sure that one day, this guy will pay from what he's done. A lot of Filipinos got more frustrated. And this hashtag cancel Korea went back off the roof. So this fight from hate and frustration is still going non-stop. Anyways, thanks for watching again. And please, don't watch this guy, Chitler. This guy is some...